If you've got a large Google Ads account where you've got multiple different campaigns and ad groups and asset groups and listing groups, or if you work at an agency or you're a Google Ads specialist who's managing multiple campaigns, one of the biggest challenge with any Google Ads campaign is to be able to quickly diagnose what is actually wrong with your account. Because if you don't know what's wrong, you then don't know what elements of your account you need to fix. So what I wanna share with you in this video is a process that I use which allows me to audit any Google Ads account in under three minutes. Now, I do want to stress that what you're doing in this process is it's not about fixing the problems. It's about diagnosing what are some current issues in your account and also highlighting some areas where you see some potential growth so that you can then come back and spend some more time in those optimizations. So what we really want to do in this process is really just get an overall sense of how is our account going? Where is it going well? Where is it going poorly? What do we need to improve on? Or what do we need to leave alone because it's working really, really well? And this is a big problem to see with business owners or in-house staff who are managing their own campaigns or even Google Ads freelancers when they're just starting out is they don't know what they need to optimize. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna take you through my three minute process. It'll take a little bit longer for three minutes because I'm gonna be explaining it through for you, but you will definitely know the individual steps that we're gonna be taking so that you can start applying this in your own accounts. And this process that we're going through is a three step process. So the first step of this process is we're going through to the Google Ads dashboard. We wanna look at a longer term of data, anywhere between three months to 12 months. And what we're really looking at here is we're wanting to see the overall trend. You know, is the account going yeah, up in performance? Is it getting better? or is it dropping? If you've got an account with multiple years of performance, you can then also look back at seasonality. The only thing you need to be mindful of there is that you know throughout the year, you may be running different campaigns or newer campaigns. So you just need to take that into account. And then once we've looked at that overview, we then start going into the different campaign view. And when we look at the campaigns, there's two core things that we wanna add in. We wanna add in the segment feature so that we can segment it by conversions. And the reason for why that's so important is because we really wanna match up and really see at the campaign level what is performing well for us and where are the areas where the conversion metrics are performing as well. When we're in that campaign view, we also wanna add in the search impression share or the click share metrics. And the reason for that is, is because if we're seeing some campaigns, especially search or shopping campaigns that have really, really good conversion performance and a low search impression share or a low click share, there's some really, really easy wins because one of the easiest ways to increase the performance of any Google Ads account is by spending more money where we're getting the better results. And then the third step of the process is we're looking at some core metrics, especially around our click-through ratio and our conversion rates. And the reason why those two metrics are so important is because our click-through ratio really speaks to the quality of our ads and the relevance of our ads. Conversion rate, because we wanna see conversions and it really lets us know where we need to look at. Now, when we talk about click-through rates, there are some core metrics that I look at for my search campaigns we are wanting to see a click-through ratio of at least 7%. In a shopping campaign, we're looking for at least 1%. When it comes to conversion rates for e-commerce, we're looking at 3%. And for lead generation, we're looking at 5%. The reason for why I use those metrics is because WordStream released some data. Every year they release data about Google Ads benchmarks and they were the benchmarks for 2024. We wanna do much better than that and in many cases we do, but what we're looking at here is we're just looking at are there any campaigns or ad groups where we're severely underperforming the market? And so this is as practical as possible for you. We're gonna jump into a screen share. What I'm also gonna be doing as you're seeing the screen is I'm also gonna be walking you through how I use my Google Ads optimization checklist throughout this process. And if you don't yet have access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, which lets you know all of the different optimization actions you need to be completing for all of your Google Ads campaigns. It also lets you know how often you need to complete them. And this is something that you can use for your search, shopping, performance max display, video, and also demand gen campaigns. If you don't have access to my checklist, why don't you go through, follow the link in the description below so you can get access today. Let's get into the training. All right, so we've got my Google Ads optimization checklist. This is the checklist that you can get access to. As you can see, you've got your search, shopping, performance max, display, demand gen, and video optimization actions. And what I'm doing in here is I use this notes section. So as I said, when we go through and review our Google Ads account, what we're really wanting to do, looking at doing in this process is just finding out some areas that we need to work on. So what I'll do is it if I see anything, we'll come through and just make the different notes in here. I'll put the campaign name in and I'll come back and review that when I'm optimizing that account. So the first place you want to go to is you want to go through and do an overview. I like to look at a longer 
range of data. This account has been active since July. The other thing that I like to do is I like to look at, at a weekly basis. So I'll start on a Monday, finish it on a Sunday. I'll generally leave out the last week of data. And the reason for that is because with most campaigns, there's generally a four to seven day acquisition window. So the data that we're seeing from that last week isn't 100% accurate. Go through, click apply. The other thing we're doing in through here is it will generally show up daily. And what we want to do is we want to change this over to weekly. Now, the other thing that I do say to a lot of people is always just remember the individual current situation of this business. So what we're looking at here for this business, what they're really needing to do is they're really needing to drive production. So for them, the ROAS, while they need to be hitting a minimum of 200%, it's not the highest level of importance for them. And as you can see, very obviously recently, we've been performing above that because for them, it's all about increasing the amount that's spending. So that's what we're really looking at focusing for them. But what we are looking at is so you can see because of that goal, we can see here that this account is achieving that performance of that main goal of increasing their spend on a weekly basis. Now we have been going through and doing this seasonally. They're just about to go through another window of increasing their spend because of their own production. They've got some new production options there. So once again, it's all about making sure you know where the business is sitting rather than just blindly looking at the ROAS. ROAS metrics are obviously important. Once again, it comes down to the business. So for this business, we would go straight away. We know that we are trending in the right direction. The next step, so that's the first step, the next step we want to go through and have a look at the campaigns. What I also want to do is I want to add in the segment function. I want to look at the conversion actions. I also want to go through into here and I want to be looking in at their click share and also their search impression share. Now, when I get into the campaign section, I'm generally looking at a smaller amount of data. I'll look over the last 30 days or even potentially the last 60 days. So we've looked at the total account performance. Now I want to look at on the campaign performance. So what we can see in through here is that this campaign is performing really, really well. It's got a cost per conversion of nine. The other ones are at a two or in and around. Now, the other thing we need to remember from here as well, this is where you need to know about your campaign structure and why it's set up in a certain way. I know this campaign is reaching new customers. So the conversion metrics will always be lower. So what I would do through here is that I'll just go through it, make a note. I'll generally copy this campaign name, make a note and go conversion metrics are down in this campaign. We need to go through and have a look at it. The other thing that what I would go through and have a look at in through here is I go, well, with this one, we're getting you know, like a really, really good performance. And when we look at the click share, we look at that click share, it's at 42%. Potentially, we could go a little bit higher. But so I'd make a note there saying, let's see if we can just add in some extra budget to see the performance go through. Remembering we're not looking at solving the problems. We're just looking at highlighting where we need to look and where we've got some potentials for further optimizations or for scaling the account. The next thing that we just want to go through and have a look at is we want to go through and have a look at those core metrics. Once again, over the last 30 days, in some cases, I'll even go the last month. So for here, I'll cut out the last week. But I would recommend you want to be looking at at least four weeks of data. And what we want to be looking at in through here is for our search campaign, we've got a click-through ratio of 6% and a conversion rate of 9%. Now, as we said, this is an e-commerce. In search, the conversion rate is great. We generally look above 3%, so no problems there. Click the ratio, it's only at 6.72%. So that's where we go, okay, we can further improve this ad copy to drive up that click through ratio. For our shopping campaigns, when we're going in through here, now this one has got an amazing conversion rate, 13%, but the click through ratio is 0.5. Generally, we want to see that at about a, a 0.9 or let's just say 1%. So we'll work further there on our product titles. And once we've grabbed that data collection, what I do is, as I said, I'll go through, make all these notes in my optimization checklist so that I can and then come through and spend some further time in the optimizations. So that's the process that I use to review any Google Ads account. Remembering with this process is not about going in and completing all these optimizations. It's first like a fact finding mission as we call it. So that you can really look at and you're looking for potential opportunities for improvement and also for those areas where you need to further optimize your account. And that's where that checklist comes in so handy. So you can make notes of what you need to do. And the next optimization focuses to improve the performance of your account. So thank you so much for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And remember, if you'd like to get access to that Google Ads optimization checklist, follow the link in the description below. And if you're new to Google Ads and you're still learning this whole thing and you'd like to have a playlist, which teaches you how to not only set up, but also optimize all the different types of Google Ads campaigns that you need this year, go through and watch this playlist right here. Or if you'd like to dive deeper into how you can really supercharge your knowledge in Google Ads, why don't you go through and watch this interview series where I interview industry-leading Google Ads professionals. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.